and for the visiting goalkeeper Antti Niemi, it's a perfect chance for him to prove that Rangers were wrong to let him go. David Tanner reports. Antti Niemi was so far out of the picture at Rangers that despite injuries to both Stefan Kloss and Lionel Chabonnier in the earlier part of the season, the Finn played just once for Dick Advocat's side. Jim Jeffries rescued Niemi from his two and a half year spell in the Ibrox reserves to take him to Hearts as first pick keeper. Since Jules Rousset stepped out of the Hearts goal to make way for Niemi, Hearts form has improved with Niemi's record showing a respectable four shutouts. Well, the most important thing when I joined, joined Hearts was uh, that I'm, I will be back to play first the football and I managed to do that. Even if the competition here is also very uh, hard, but I'm just uh, really happy to be back, back playing again. That was the whole idea why I came here. How does it affect you not playing first team football? How did it affect you at Rangers when you weren't in the, the first team? Uh, well, in Rangers it's a little bit different situation because Rangers is such a great club. It's uh, you know you have great players around you, and uh, the club itself is massive. So it's almost easy to sit there and pick your salaries and you know enjoying being a Rangers player even if you're not playing. But uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to play and that's, uh, that's why I came to Hearts. Did you feel as though you were shortchanged at Rangers and not getting more of a chance in the first team? Because I know Andy Gorham certainly thinks that of you. Uh, not really, because all the managers, they have their opinions, own opinions. They like uh, another player more than uh, another manager. So I'm not bitter or anything. Uh, you know, competition at Rangers is really, really tough. And they have a, a clause who's... Uh, absolutely outstanding goalkeeper, so I'm not ashamed that I, I was uh, number two or number three at Rangers. Your first away game as a Hearts player, ironically, paired you with Rangers at Ibrox. Uh, was that uh, an unusual experience for you, going back there so soon? Yeah, it was really, really strange. To be honest, I knew the players I was playing against better than I knew the players I was playing with. So it was a really, really strange situation, but uh, it went okay, and we were unlucky to, to lose the goals in the last minute, so... If we can play as well as we did that day uh, in the next cup game against Rangers, then uh, anything can happen. Any chances of Hearts doing something here? Yes, I really believe so. Like I said, we played against them and uh, George scored in the last minute and we defended well the whole game. So, you know, a cup is a, it's an interesting competition. Anything can happen and it's one off. So, obviously, Rangers are the clear favourites, but I really believe that we can, we can do something on Sunday. Well, it's not so long time ago Hearts uh, won the cup, so even in Scotland anything can happen. And uh, if you want to win anything, you probably have to beat Celtic or Rangers at some point of the, the competition. So it's not easy, but I think Hearts is one of those clubs who can win trophies in Scotland. And they did just that when they beat Rangers in the side's last cup meeting in the 1998 final. Niemi was in Rangers books then and watched as Hart celebrated whilst Walter Smith's reign at Ibrox ended in tears. The disappointment was huge. Uh, I, was, I was in the stands in that game. Andy Gordon was back playing in that game. And, uh, you know, all the older players who was, you know, who maybe knew that they were coming to the end of their careers in Rangers. The disappointment was just, it was unbelievable. They couldn't, you know, they couldn't speak, they were just so down. So it was a big disappointment for players, but on the other hand, they were all top prof professionals and they knew that something like that can happen every now and then. How do you think the new team under Advocate compares to the team which lost that day? Uh, well, it's not really my job to go into that. Uh, they're both uh, really good teams, you know and uh, they're both capable of winning things and they're both beatable i think so yeah <laughs> i have to think so i have to think so yeah 